Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are here for Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Season 2 Episode 1. So, this is my first reaction to the actual series. I do have a reaction to the movie though, so make sure you guys go check that out. If you if you go to like the playlist, it should be the first one on the playlist and then you can watch down in, in order as these release. So, uh, but yeah, I, I have already seen season one a long time ago before I ever did reactions. So unfortunately I don't have a reaction to that. Uh, same with Sword Oratoria as well, which is the, the little eyes, uh, spinoff that happens at the same time as season one. Um, but what I did do was I went and rewatched all of those, and I recorded myself doing it, and I threw those on my Patreon for as an extra benefit for those who are patrons. So you can check out the link to my Patreon in the description if you want access to that. Um, I very much appreciate the support if you do decide to. But yeah, I have you know all twelve or thirteen episodes for Sword Oratoria and the original season one rewatch. A lot of it I forgot, so I'm actually reacting to. A lot of things in it because you know for the first season it had been you know four or five years since I had watched it and then for the sword oratoria I had watched it while I was like playing video games and stuff and I didn't retain as much as I thought I was going to I could not remember jack shit like there were a few things here and there where I was like oh yeah that happened and but other than that, I was, like, pretty much, you know, reacting to it. But all those are on my Patreon, so check those out if you want. But if you don't want to check that out, just a real quick, I, I really love this series. Um, it does have a lot of fan service, which, as you, if you watch any of my other reactions, you know that my, uh, I, I'm not really a big fan of fan service. I don't, I don't hate it. It won't make me hate a show unless it's, like, way too much. And sometimes this show gets to the point of it being way too much, but I think I'm so invested in the story that I think that the fan service is just kind of like, when it happens, I'm just like, alright, you know, it, it's fine. But yeah, I, I do really like the story. I like a lot of the fight mechanics they come up with, the different ways they utilize their abilities, like... Uh, I guess like the most clearest in my mind right now is in Sword Oratoria when uh, Bet uses his uh like magic weapon to fuel his boots and then does a kick i thought that was just a really cool use of of like in-world items to to use his attacks where they could easily just make him kick with magic they decided to go that extra mile where he can do that extra stuff so yeah um so i really like it i'm really looking forward to getting into season two and then getting into season three as it airs uh but yeah so and just so you guys know, I'll say it now, uh, probably should have said it a little earlier, if you're brand new to my channel, the way I do my videos is you guys need to have your own footage to sync with me. We're going to watch the whole thing together. I'll have a timer up on the screen. I'll do a countdown for you guys before we start. Um, so there's not, there's only going to be like 10, 15 seconds of footage on the screen uh, to help you guys sync up your copy with, with mine to try to get it perfectly synced, you know. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to have, like, you know, highlights or stuff like other channels do due to copyright issues. Other channels, you know, avoid it in, in other ways, but I decided to avoid it altogether by going with this method. So, yeah, guys, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into this, shall we? We are going to start the episode here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Ah, uh, already in the dungeon fighting. Oh, she's with them. Interesting. I don't remember her name. She's part of... Oh, it starts with a T, is his familia. Tomei? I think? It's not, it's not that. It's... Ah, I can't remember. All right, this is a pretty cool floor they're on. Shoot. I just missed her, uh... They just said her name and I missed it. <laughs> Damn it. 
I, like, read the whole sentence and saw the name, and before I could, like, register it to memorize it, it poofed. <laughs> Makoto. Okay. So they're doing the middle floors better now. Cool. Yeah. To eyes, of course. Cool. Nice little opening. Oh, well franked up. Level two. Nice. Interesting. I wonder, like, what... How that all works. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Friggin'. <laughs> um... I adjusted the, the table that's in front of me, and it, if I put it too close to my desk, then it uh, gets caught on part of my desk, and if I move my arms, it shakes the whole camera and desk and everything. Anyway. But yeah, you have to do, like, something extraordinary, usually, to level up. But I guess maybe, I guess you just have to, like, feel like you went on an adventure, so maybe clearing the middle floors. Oh, new characters that look... Angry. Okay, so he... He is not level 3 yet after everything that happened towards the end of Season 1. Who's this guy? Was that Artemis's logo? Good. Compensating for something there, buddy. Uh oh, he insulted her, his goddess. He got scared for a second. <laughs> yes! My hand slipped. Oh my god. <laughs> he just picked up that guy up at the room. Now, I don't know, I don't know what familia they were a part of. I just saw, like, it looked like a bow and arrow. Oh. Oh, well, they have a strong member. Jeez! I thought that was a girl. But the voice sounds like a guy. Apollo family. Oh shit, it's bet. Damn, they messed him up quick. At least that one, that one dude did.
<laughs> of course. Of course. I meant to look up at one point what Hestia is the, the goddess of in Greek mythology. I get why he did it, though. It's one thing to accept uh, insults thrown at you, but when it's thrown at someone you care about, that's that's even worse. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen Apollo, have we? Apollo stuff. Yep, that's the same symbol. Mmm. Interesting. Right after that fight, too. You have my condolences. Hmm. Maybe for the fight? Interesting. Take? Maybe that's the, um, the god of that one chick. Mikoto, I think it was. Ooh, looking good, Belle. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Hestia has a nice dress on. Okay, no, maybe this is Take. Maybe. Okay, no, Naza. Okay. I'm trying to... Okay, yeah. I'm trying to remember some of, like, the, the side characters' names. Is that Hermes? Yep. Sometimes it's hard to recognize him without his... Fancy hat. Yeah, okay. I knew it started with a T. I at least got that right. <laughs> Just like all the girls are blushing. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez! Oh! Apollo, huh? Hmm... 
So he's big enough of a character to be up there with him, but only level 3. Interesting. Huh. So is this guy going to end up being an antagonist or friendly? Shit. Oh, Freya and Otar. <laughs> oh, my God. She walks right over. Oh my god. So <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Bell. <laughs> She's standing there blushing at eyes. <laughs> Just say something, Bell. Jesus. Oh no! Oh my god. Is that everybody, like, grouped around them? <laughs> they just both... okay. I thought they were just both gonna stand there and start talking to each other <laughs> while their goddess is left. Neither can I, buddy. Neither can I. I'd be exactly where you are. Oh, shit. What? Bell, you are clearly in an obvious spot. I don't know who that other guy was, so I don't know if that was supposed to be ominous or not. If that was, like, someone from Apollo fam Familia meeting with another god or something, or, or who that was. Hmm. 
Try to get him to dance with eyes. Hermes. Being the matchmaker. Is he gonna go talk to eyes? Make him jealous? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Hermes. Then he's gonna... Yep. Oh my god. Hermes, the best wingman. Alright, Belle. You danced with Artemis, you got this. Uh, showed him the ropes. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. Nice. Ah, sweet. I'm so happy for Belle. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love how all these different, like, gods are giving him advice. Like, Miyak came up and, and gave him some advice there, and Taki did too. I love it. Hermes being his wingman. <laughs> oh no, the, the goddesses are realizing... Oh my god. Ask me. <laughs> Freaking Freya. She's jealous, isn't she? Freya is. Aww. Nice. All right, Apollo. Oh, shit. That was a creepy smile. Jeez. Bringing us up in the middle of a party, that's kind of petty. Oh my god. No, they fake that shit.
This guy is petty as shit. A war game? What is this? What? Oh, what the hell? Wait, is that it? This seems like an outro. Yep. I wonder if this is going to be the opening, because sometimes they play the opening at the end of the episode, or is this, uh... Hmm... It's that blonde haired with ears that we saw in the, uh, in the movie, briefly. There she is again. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> Ryu, yes! <laughs> For those of you who didn't know, Ryu is my favorite character. I, I mentioned it during my rewatch as well as, uh, as well as in the movie. Alright. No after credit. I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I don't think there's any after- I think the after credits would have come before that. Alright. So, yeah, that's the end of episode one, guys. St pretty strong opening. We got a little bit of them in the dungeon, which was cool. We got kind of like an update on their statuses. So, Bell has not leveled the three. That was a question that I actually had, um... At the end of season one, where he managed- Like, granted, it was a group effort of a bunch of people attacking, but he kind of did, like, the really big blow on that boss that attacked the 18th floor. I was curious if maybe that was enough of an adventure for him to have leveled up, you know? But then I also thought that it'd be way too soon for him to level up again, because people are, are already are saying that he's cheating as it expresses in this episode, and they did it last season. People don't believe that he really, like ranked up as quickly as, uh, as people are saying, or as, as he says he does, you know, so, um, if he would have hit three by fighting that boss, I think, like, everything would have been in an uproar, you know, but even though it already kind of is, you know, it seems like, it seems like this Apollo guy wants Bell, you know, so maybe Bell's starting to gain the attention of some of the, uh, some of the gods that aren't so much his friends. Like, I don't think, I don't think, like, Take and Hermes and them would ever, like, try to take Bell from Hestia because they're, like, kind of friendly, and same with Loki, you know, but these other gods that we haven't seen, like, obviously Freya has her agendas, and then, uh, now Apollo, and who knows what other kind of gods could come out of the woodworks and, and try to take, take Bell from Hestia, you know? So, that might be, uh, that might be interesting. Now, I wonder how much of this, like, Apollo stuff is gonna be through the season, like, is he gonna be the main antagonist of this whole season, or is this just, like, a, a beginner thing, where they, they had this little scuffle, and now they're gonna be doing this war games, possibly, I don't know how they're gonna do a war game, though, um, I guess it depends on the rules, because Hesty only has one person in her familia, so, you know, if it's like a if it's like a tournament style thing, is Bell gonna just have to do every fight, or do you have to like, are they gonna have to go find other people to to back them up? You know, from other familias, but that seems kind of weird if you take like if you bring other familias into it. It seems like kind of a big deal, you know. So I don't know. It'll be interesting on how this war game works out, but 
Um, but obviously, if they accept it, they're obviously not going to lose. That's the only bad thing about, like, metagaming it a little bit is... I mean, I would be amazed if they if they took that uh, if they if they did that war game and Apollo ended up taking Bell, you know, like that'd be really weird. You know, I feel like eventually, if that did happen, eventually he would get back with Hestia somehow. But I definitely don't think that it's gonna actually happen because. You know, I, like, a lot of shows won't break the status quo like that. So having the stakes be like, I get Belcrano, well, then obviously either something's going to happen to interrupt the war game or, you know, Hestia's going to win. So, um, but we'll see. Maybe it'll prove me wrong. Maybe my overconfidence will be my downfall. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So the, uh, I wonder if this was the plan all along. Do you think... Like, I'm wondering if Apollo's Familia is really that petty that they're gonna go and talk shit to Belle. Or, like... Or was that a plan? Did, did Apollo say, like, I want to instigate this war game, so I want you guys to go talk shit about Belle or his goddess and get him to fight you. And, uh, and make sure he throws the first punch and kind of, like, plan this. And then afterwards, they obviously dress that one guy up in a lot more bandages and stuff like that. Now, I can think of, I mean, it's either that or Apollo saw this opportunity after the fight happened and his familia really is just that, that petty that they're going to sit there and, you know, talk shit in a bar like that or tavern or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I don't know. I guess maybe we'll find that out later if they instigated the whole thing from the beginning, or if it was a if it was a you know clever plan that Apollo came up with after the fact. But but yeah, I wonder. I also wonder those the lady that delivered the the message to to Bell, the invitation to the to the party. I wonder if when she said condolences, did she mean for what was going to happen at the party? Or because of other things, like because of the fight in the bar or something, you know? I wonder what that My Condolences was for. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, uh, Wealth is level 2 now, which I talked a little bit during the reaction, but I guess to elaborate a little bit, uh, we've always known that you had to do something kind of like big, like, <clears throat> like an adventure, almost like a, a life-changing experience. I wonder what... I wonder if Welf actually had that, or if he just kind of... Because it seemed like he casually just leveled up, you know? Um, so that's interesting. I guess maybe there's, like... Maybe there's other ways to level up, and when Ryu told us about, like, going on an adventure and stuff, maybe she was saying that that's, like, the easiest way, you know? I don't know. But... Because it seemed like they were just, like, going around the 13th floor, like, relatively easily clearing it from the the way they talked and stuff like that. And and uh, and then they went back and they were like, oh, you ranked up, you know? So it seemed very casual. Unless they were saying, like... No, because it'd be weird if they talked about it then. I was going to say, unless it, like, had to do with that whole, like... The first time they went to the mid-levels and went all the way down to the 18th floor and, and got stuck there and had to, you know, travel back up with, with you know, a whole group of people and stuff. Um, unless that's where he hit level 2 and that was his adventure, you know. And uh, But it'd be weird if they talked about it now and not, like, before they went on that most recent one that we saw at the start of this episode, you know. It'd be weird if they had, like, a whole nother trip into the dungeon before they really addressed that he hit level 2, you know? But, anyway, um, either way, it doesn't really matter. It could just be that he casually leveled up, and that is, you know, a possibility as well, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had that little moment where the, the guy with earrings that beat up Bell was talking to some random guy who almost looked like a churchy priesty kind of guy. I don't know if that's uh 
if that's going to be some kind of plot point in the future, you know? I imagine it's going to be something. They didn't just put that there for nothing, but I wonder, like, what it's about. Is there, like, a... Is there, like, a church in this world? I don't know, because the, the gods have descended. So it'd be kind of weird if you went to a church to pray to a god that you could just, like, you know, that was already there living right next to you, you know? Um, but a lot of the times in these kind of shows, there will be, like, some kind of church that, like, shows up and causes trouble, you know, because of their their beliefs, so... I wonder if that might be a thing, or it's just a cloaked individual that looks sort of priesty because of the uh, the robes that he wears, you know, could have nothing to do with the church. But yeah, I wonder what that's all, what, what's that all about? Was was that guy with the earrings that beat up Bell? was he talking to that guy behind Apollo's back, or was it something where Apollo was privy to it, and Bell just kind of noticed it, you know? Like, it seemed kind of ominous, whatever it was, or at least they made it seem that way, but... But yeah, I mean, other than that, I'm looking forward to seeing this this war game and, and everything. I don't really know, I don't really think there's much else to talk about for, for this episode. But I'm, I'm curious to see the war game. I'm curious to see how Bell will win, because I don't think he's going to be leaving Hestia. But I'm also interested to see if I can be proven wrong. But yeah, I'm probably going to be recording one more of these tonight, so... If you're wondering why I'm in, like, the same exact position and the same exact clothes in the next one, that's why. Because, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to burn through season two quicker than I do my other reactions because I want to catch up to the, the season three, which is airing right now. Um, I think, like, the first episode or two is probably out, so I'm hoping I can get through these 12 episodes, I think, are in season two. And then get started on season three and catch up to the airing. So I'm probably going to be releasing, like, maybe, like, four episodes a week. So I'm probably going to try to record two tonight and then two another night within the week. So, yeah, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. Also, I mentioned a lot about my Patreon, but check out that if you want to support me and get some extra content and stuff like that. Link is in the description below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.